as you will remember, is also called Everlasting Father. His human birth was foretold this way. The virgin would be a child and would give birth to a son. Isaiah 7, 40, Matthew 1, 20, 23. The, Jesus did not have a human father, nor did Adam, the first man. In, in tracing Jesus' linkage back to the beginning of human history, the Bible historian Luke shows that Adam came into existence as a son of God. Luke 3, 28. But as we have learned, Adam lost that relationship as God's son for himself and for all of his offspring. So we are all needed. So we all need, as it were, a new father who is perfect. Like one, one like Adam when he was created. That's why he, Jesus is called everlasting father. Now, God sent his son from heaven to be, the, to be, with, to be that new Adam. To replace that first one, the Bible says. The first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. The first man is out of the earth and made of dust. The second man is made of heaven. Let's look at that. Very important scripture. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, 45, 47. 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 And it states, it is also written, the first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last man, Adam, became a life-giving spirit. Now, this last Adam was actually Jesus. He became a life-giving spirit. Nevertheless, the first is not that which is spiritual, but that which is physical. The first Adam was a physical. Afterwards, that which is spiritual. The second Adam, which is Jesus, a spiritual individual. Now, the first man is out of the earth, which is Adam. And made of dust, which is Adam, the first man. The second man, Jesus Christ, is out of heaven. He came from heaven. Right? God sent him. As the one made of dust is, so that one made of dust are also. As the heavenly one is, so those who are heavenly are also. And just as we have we, we born the image of the one made of dust, which is we born the image of Adam being uh, the descendants of Adam. We shall also bear the image of the heavenly one if we allow ourselves to be converted. Consider some of the blessings the Bible indicates people in the new world of righteousness will enjoy. In 2 Peter 3.13. That's 2 Peter, Peter chapter 3 verse 13. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 13. But there are no heavens and no earth that are waiting according to his promise. And it is righteousness to dwell. Now, while the promises illustrated on this page may seem too good to be true, they are starting to be realized in this coming system of things. Jesus, in prayer to God, described what is required for people to enjoy these blessings, saying, This means everlasting life. They are taking in knowledge of you. This was Jesus talking to his father. He said, This means everlasting life. They are taking in knowledge of you knowledge of you is the only true God and as the one whom you sent forth Jesus Christ that's John 17 3 you can look it up John 17 3 may you be among those who only seek this life giving knowledge now war eliminated peace forever nation will not lift up sword against nation neither will they learn war anymore to the bondage of peace To the abundance of the princely rule and the peace, there will be no end. That's Isaiah 2, 4, 9, 7. Isaiah 2, 4, 9, 7. Plenty of food for all. The earth itself will certainly give its provisions. There will come to be plenty of gain upon the earth. And you look at that as Psalms 67, 6. Psalms 72, 7, 7, 16. Homes and work for everyone. They will certainly build houses and have occupancy. They will not plant, and someone else do the eating. Isaiah 65, 22. Isaiah 65, 21, 22. Dead loved ones resurrected. It's always coming, which all those in the memorial tombs will hear Jesus' voice 
and come to life. John 5, 28, 29. No more sickness or death. No resident will say, I am sick. Death will be no more. The former things have passed away. Isaiah 33, 24. Revelation 21, 3, 4. Global peace will affect even animals. The, war, the wolf will actually reside for a while with the wild lamb. And the kid with the leopard itself will lie down. And a mere little boy will be a leader over them. Isaiah 11, 16. Now, there we come to the conclusion of this.